Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I am doing an unboxing for the August Witches Roots. So just for full transparency, this box is sent to me every month by the Witches Roots Company or Witches Moon Company for my honest review. So let's dig in. The Shadow of Oak and Ash. Hmm. It can be so easy to be trapped within the rigid schedules of life, captured by deadlines to reach, meetings to attend, and obligations to honor. It is so important to work towards releasing ourselves from always seeking outcomes and results. The vibrancy and joy of life can always be found in the simplest of acts. We find the divine pulse beating through the forest paths, dancing through the smallest waterfall and echoing throughout the singing of birds. In this uh, exciting collection, we step into the shadows of the oak and ash to find whispers from the folklore legends of old, reconnecting with the energies of excitement and engagement. The magical items in this box are as follows. All right, so here is my... Um, oracle reading. I invite peace within myself. I ripple this outward. Waning Crescent 5. Alrighty then. Awandian. There is power in forgiveness and silent intent. You will always receive joyfully what you truly respect. Andre and Gracia, Andres and, Ga and Gracias, and Gracia, my goodness. That's very nice, Stonehenge, beautiful. Ooh, cilantro, I love cilantro, yummy, yummy. Okay, well here, let me show you. How cool is that? All right. Ooh, we got a spray. I love the sprays. We love the sprays. Whispers of nature. Oh, all right. Let's open this up because I want to smell it and spray it. Oh. Well, that almost smells like, um, like going to the beach, like almost like, I could be wrong. Maybe my sense off. Let me smell that. Yeah, that smells like, like summer. Hmm. Be interesting to see what's in that. Smells good, but it's different. All right, let me open this. Ooh, beautiful green, green, green. Love the smell. What is this? Is this some sort of jasper, tree jasper maybe? Pretty, it's beautiful. All right. Menta piperita, piperita. Tea bags, let me smell that. I love mint tea. I love it. If I can open it here. Come on. What is it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Gosh, that smells good. I'm going to be having me some mint tea. <laughs> Cilantro. Let's see if you can smell this. 
when it's dry, you can't always. No, definitely nothing. I mean, you can still smell it. It's just earthy, but definitely not the smell of fresh cilantro. Which I love. I love it in my Pico. Forest floors. All right, let's smell this. <laughs> I just want to smell everything, don't I? Oh, yeah. Gosh, that smells really good. Oh, yeah. I think that's everything. So let's just move that right on out of the way. We've got the Druid Wisdom. Where did that go? Let's do it this way. I've not seen these cards, I don't think. Walk the Druid's Path through Scotland, England, and Wales. Ooh. Isn't that beautiful? The Winding Trail. Hawthorne and Heathers, Rowan and Rue, Scotland's unique mysteries and magic are waiting just for you. The purple thistle flower is the national symbol of Scotland. Wear a thistle necklace or charm for devotion, resilience, protection, and strength. I just want to show you some of these. So beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so I've got it all set up. Let's see what the paper says here. So our first item is cilantro, also known as coriander. Cilantro is an annual herb classified as part of the uh, apiche, apiche or dill family. Coriander seeds have been valued in their medical and esoteric properties for nearly 9,500 years. Interestingly enough, the alchemists refer to cilantro as Cassid bolt. Med uh, medicinally, cilantro possesses the ability to soothe digestion and has shown to provide antibacterial qualities. As stated within one of our favorite herbal grimoires, The Green Mysteries by Daniel A. Uh, Shulky, its esoteric properties are aligned with Mars and its powers as used in magic are exorcism, binding, marriage, allure, ward against d disease, visions, and summoning. In addition to these qualities, cilantro has been revered as the herb of immortality by many ancient cultures, known for representing the preservation of spirit and soul. Commonly found within elixirs of prosperity and abundance, cilantro provides a heightened sense of attraction. This attraction is also associated with smooth and beneficial communications with others, including land spirits. Celestial associations are Mars, zodiacal association is Scorpio, elemental association is fire. This dried herb has been included for ritual and external use. The information is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So then we've got the Cilantro Herbal Grimoire artwork, which is beautiful. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows, Herbal Grimoire, or place on your altar for display. It says we have partnered with a very talented local artist to create this exclusive piece of artwork to honor. And it is written by A.E. Alden, well written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. So then we've got the Druid Wisdom deck by Andre or Andres, Andre and Gracia. This beautiful 40 card inspiration deck portrays a variety of wonderful sacred sites, Druid symbology and practical suggestions for more intimate spiritual growth and a deeper connection with nature. 
as stated within the box top of this deck, this luscious green, oh, the luscious green and the deepest blue memories of ancient magic true. Turn the card and read your sign. The message finds you in love and kind. Your intuition is a powerful force. Listen as it guides you down life's lowing course. Life's lowing course? Maybe it was supposed to be flowing course? Close your eyes and clear your mind. Draw a card and heed your chosen sign. Carry this deck with you as you walk out onto your local path. As you find a place where you feel called to sit, ground, and center yourself, and then pull a card from this deck. Allow the message included to nurture your calling for growth and adventure. And then we've got a Wadian Sigil Book of Shadows artwork. And it says this beautiful border of this illustration has been created by the wonderful A.E. Alden. The quote found inside is from the Druid Wisdom deck by Andre. And Andres and Gracia, the Awendian sigil, meaning the inspired ones, was created with pure intention by G. Ibis. Do not make copies, not, and not for resale. Whispers of Nature Ritual Aura Spray. Yes, this is what I'm wondering about. We are thrilled to be able to introduce our Whispers of Nature Ritual Aura Spray within this collection. This very special blend was created to enhance your ability to find guidance in the land spirits and tree spirits. The spray can be used before meditation or during any ritual performed in nature. We have created this ritual aura spray with the oils of cedarwood, apple, sandalwood, myrrh, vetiver, and a special mixture of our aura uh, magical oil or awen magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Shake well before using. Be cautious when using this spray as some may be more sensitive than others. And it just says start by spraying like three to four feet away. Maybe because I needed to shake it. Let me try it again. Because it definitely... Yeah. That combination uh, of stuff that they just put in there, it doesn't smell like what I would expect. But it smells like, like, like somebody that's got like lotion on, you know, like the summer, like the sun on your skin kind of smell. That's interesting. It smells good, but just different than what I thought. Okay, so then we've got the Mentha Piperita Ritual Herbal Tea Bags right here. This simple peppermint leaf tea bag is among our favorites to drink when working to rid ourselves of negativity and irritability. Created with unbleached tea filter paper, the Mentha Piperita tea provides a direct connection with the energies of peppermint. All right, and then we've got the tree agate tumbled stone. Okay, so tree agate. To accompany you on your path, we have included a tree agate tumbled stone to carry with you throughout your day or place upon your altar. This stone has the wonderful ability to connect you directly with nature when you find yourself unable to step into the forest or nearby mountain trail for grounding. Then we've got the forest floors and in, incense sticks. As you allow the wonderfully refreshing and fragrant scent from these incense sticks, to drift throughout your sacred space, visualize yourself lying on the forest floor, surrounded by beauties of bounties of trees, herbs, and flowers. Allow yourself to feel calm and sorry, <laughs> calm and vibrantly awake. It says we recommend opening a window if possible to allow for. I always do whenever I am doing any kind of. Um, uh, burning of incense, I always open the door or open my windows or my door down here. And then we've got the Sacred Stature Mini Spell Candle. We have hand rolled this Sacred Stature Mini Spell Candle for you to honor your connection with the land and sky. This candle represents our bounded connection with all that is and yet to be. Do not leave a burning candle unattended and keep out of reach of children. And then the personalized oracle reading. 
We have meditated and selected a card from the Moon Magic Inspiration deck by Stacy DeMarco to place inside your box. This card and the symbol's messages that are represented were meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Allow this message to act as a direct message from your guides. Connect to your tree awareness now. Let it evoke within you the strong sense of witnessing of a larger perspective. You are standing in peace and timelessness, in acceptance of the seasons and of steady growth and development. Continue to breathe slowly with this feeling until it fills you with serenity and loving detachment. Penny Billington. Blessed be the witch's roots. Wow. Okay, so, you know, artwork is always my favorite. But, I mean, it's hard to really say favorite. You know I'm not good with favorites. So, I like the artwork. I like the, the cards. I'm a huge card lover. I love more herbs. Cilantro is something that I use a lot in my diet, but it's not something that I have in my witchy cabinet. Um, and I have grown it too. And I always use the sprays. I love the sprays. Of course, you know, I'm a crystal girl. I love the crystals. So, um, the incense, I love to burn the incense. I love mint tea. So the candle green, green's my favorite color. It's always a hit with this <laughs> box. And even, I invite peace within myself. I ripple this outwards. Yes. Beautiful affirmation. We all need a little peace. All right. So thank you for joining me. What is your favorite uh, item this month? And do you also receive this particular box? If so, let me know in the comments down below. I will be placing a link where you can also get this uh, particular box. Well, if it's not sold out, where you can get this uh, prescription, uh, prescription, subscription. <laughs> so I'll be leaving a link down below and I'm sending you love always. Bye-bye.